Hey Dreamers, it's me Teresa the Dreamer. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about something a tiny bit controversial. Let's live our best life here today. We're making all our dreams come true. Why don't you come along with me? Cause I love spending time with you, with you, with you. Spending time with you. This is my feelings about my experience thus far. I've had discussions about this topic with some of my friends, some of my family members, and I just want to talk to you and hear what you think about it. It's okay if you think, if you don't agree with me, but here's where I stand. And these are the thoughts that I'm having at 22 years old. I've had them before and they're just perpetuating into my life even more as I get more accustomed to society, especially moving into a different country. But this is how I feel. So my opinion is that society preaches to us that we should be ourselves, be true to who you are, be you. And then when you do exactly that, they judge you, criticize you, and punish you for it. It's like, be you, but don't be you like that. Be you but that's not the right way to be you and i just think it's so confusing and i just want to throw the whole idea of it out altogether. just like everyone needs to mind their own business but here's why i feel like that personally i feel as though i have a very unique way of thinking oftentimes when i express my feelings others don't agree with it they don't have similar experiences they can't relate and then some people make me feel wrong or make it out to be as if I'm wrong for having those thoughts and feelings and make me a villain for speaking my truth or speaking my observations about other people's truth and I just think that's unfair when I think and i express myself i never do it with the intention of being malicious to someone or to hurt someone's feeling or to put someone down so sometimes my delivery or the words that i use just don't get my point across in the way that i wanted it to that i intended to and it just sucks i am a very blunt person i am a very truthful person so I've always been that person that speaks my mind and gets in trouble for it. I was that kid who asked all the questions and pointed out people's flaws or just things I observed. And I haven't really grown out of that. I've gotten a bit of a filter, but I still have the thoughts and I still express things how exactly how I see it. And not everyone takes that the right way. And I have struggles with knowing who can take what. So my reaction to that is just to not say anything at all, to have my feelings, and then I'm just not being genuine. So it's a struggle, but at the same time, I'm just like, why is everyone so damn sensitive? So struggling with that throughout the years turned into my people pleasingness of saying things that people want to hear, saying things that'll make people do things that I want them to do, that'll make them happy with me, that would make them treat me better and it's just like why am i going through all this stress to appease people that don't care about me i'm always going over and beyond and it's not always appreciated and sometimes it's taken advantage of and i just think that's really unfortunate and i've tried to get myself to not be as people pleasing but it's really hard to break out of because when you be yourself no one accepts you like I've always been just curious about why that is and because of that reaction from the world I often go into self-isolation and I don't speak for, to anyone about my true feelings and my true thoughts because they can't handle it and it's not that I can't take criticism it's like people are just like you are wrong for thinking this and I don't want to talk to you about this or I don't want to talk to you at all you're wrong for thinking this way and it's like Where's the room to be different? Where's the room to grow? Where's the room to evolve? If everyone wants you to follow this linear path and never stray from it, never have a different thoughts, 
ne never question why things are the way they are never question your place in things never question why people believe in things it's like you are so die hard for this concept or this principle and you can't even explain to me why that is relevant to today to your life and why should i follow the same exact path as you that isolating myself from people it affects me um i enjoy my solitude so so much but sometimes i miss people and interacting with them and sharing who i am with them and then i go back and i do that with them and then it's like i this is why i don't talk to you and <laughs> it's very frustrating when you care about someone you want a relationship with them of any kind and you just don't claim and everything you say is wrong and you just can never come to agreement and it's just very frustrating and it's hard to it's hard to be an open-minded person in a world of people who are so stuck in their ways even in cases where death is involved and i'm dealing with uh, um someone who's lost a loved one i have no idea how to deal with that i haven't had a lot of experience with death or with grief grief in my life and i have experience with it and the way that i deal with things is different from the way other people deal with things the way that i view death is not common um it is a lot of other people have that view which is not as common and i don't know how to console people without being an asshole or without sounding insincere i care about the fact that someone you lost someone and i care about how that affects you it's just i don't have the power to bring them back i wouldn't if i could and based on if you watch any movie you know that people need to stay dead like it's always a consequence so it's like i'm not the friend to come to if someone dies i'm i don't know what to say and even if someone around me dies it's like i will process my emotions however i need to process my emotions and then I have to move on with my life and grief is never easy losing someone is never easy but it's part of life and one day i'm going to die and i don't want everybody to be you know unproductive like go do what you need to do i'm dead <laughs> there's nothing you can do about that that's so insensitive to some people and i understand why but people die every day literally it's part of life and we all need to just deal with it and not move on as in forget about the people but we, we all need to just give people grace when they're going through that but also not hold everyone else around them accountable for how they treat them during that time everyone dies everyone knows someone that dies everyone loves someone that dies I have an unpopular opinion about it my personality is very friendly it's very sweet it's very kind i believe that i'm a very kind person i am very patient and loving and caring towards people i am generous most of the time i'm not the most generous person in the world but i'm also not evil and i think some people are more generous than i am and i think generosity should come from you genuinely feeling that need or that urge to share with others i think if you give with expecting something back in return even if not from that person but just from the universe or from someone else it's not the best place to give so i only give when i feel it called upon my spirit to give and that doesn't happen as often as it does for other people and i'm okay with that but for other people they consider me selfish and they consider me to not care and it's like i care a lot i care too much and i have to balance that by putting myself first at times and it's not taken well by others and at this point in my life i don't think that i care i know that i'm not selfish my creator knows that i'm not selfish and who needs to get from me gets from me when they need it and i am not going to position myself in a place where i am proving to others oh i'm generous i think that's not a place you should be caring from and therefore 
And when I say given, it's of anything. Time, attention, money, goods, services. I just... It doesn't come as naturally for me and I have been working on it. But I think I'm being fake when I pretend to care about things that I don't care about. I think that's um, a disservice to everyone involved. And I'd rather not do it. And I'd rather people stop forcing me and criticizing me for not doing it. I understand that I don't know what I don't know. And I know that I have a lot of growth and evolution to come my way. I know that the way that I think and my mindset is going to mold into different things as I go through life and have different experiences. And so I'm never locked off to someone's opinion or criticism or thought that they want to share with me. I am very open to trying new things and trying new concepts and trying new experiences and listening to others and learning from others but at the same time i am on my path and i need to do the things that feel right for me and if they don't feel right then i shouldn't be doing them and i think other people have this habit of forcing their path and their beliefs onto me and that frustrates the life out of me and sometimes I feel extremely defenseless and I end up not doing what I want to do with my life and that is a huge problem for me we all have our idea of what is right what is right for us what is right for others what should be what should it be and it's okay to you know guide as you go with who yourself and others but people's paths are their paths and you don't have to agree with what someone's doing in order to support them or to give them the space to do that even if you do not support them i like who i am so very much i like the way that i think i like the way that i operate i like my methods i like my routines i like myself i love spending time with myself i love the conversations i have with I don't necessarily need to have companionship but it is welcome and it is appreciated and the way that i think it's very much conditioned by how i've lived my life thus far or how i've been raised or what i was allowed to do and what i was not allowed to do and because of that i am full of curiosities i am full of unpopular opinions i am full of just being weird and different and that is not easy to navigate in this world in myself my creator created me to be unique i have a unique sound i have a unique look and i have very unique thoughts and the, it's hard to have unique thoughts because you have to keep them to yourself. So when you share them with others, they are received in a very positive way. I don't want to change who I am. And with that said, I'm open to growth. I am open to being better. I am open to being my highest and best self, whatever that looks like. And... Throughout that process, people are going to come into my life and I'm going to have to adapt and possibly change certain things about me so that the, the dynamic of those relationships can flourish and I can have amazing partnerships with people. And in those cases, I'm okay with being corrected and I'm okay with changing for the better or changing for someone but I don't want to just sit here and have everyone tell me who I should be and I'm just like, yes, sir, yes, mom, and just do that. I want to be who I am. I want to be who I am deep down inside. I want to be true to myself. I want to be who I am meant to be. I want to be who I should be. I want to be what and who feels right for me. And I don't feel like I have that freedom in my life currently. I don't and that is the truth and it may rub some people the wrong way that is how 
I feel. It's like, I don't want to change. Even like my body, my voice, my hair. I don't want it to change. I am working on being fit. We talked about that in, in a previous video. But at the same time, if I have to stay like this forever, I, I'm comfortable with being exactly the way that I am. I have mastered the art of self-acceptance and being like, this is what it is. And I love every bit of it. Now, some things can be improved. Some things can be adjusted. And when the opportunity comes for those things, I will, you know, partake in that. But if it doesn't, then I'm okay with who I am. I'm okay with how I look. I'm okay with how I sound. I'm okay with how I think. I'm just okay with me. And that's not common, apparently. And other people want you to be miserable. Other people want you to be chasing things. And that's just not where I'm at. And it's just uncomfortable when almost every day someone is coming to you like, you should change this about yourself. Or why are you like this? This isn't the way to be. And uh, it's frustrating. There's a balance between wanting to be better and a balance in, just, in standing ground and being yourself and being true to who you are. Um, as a person who, who moved into a place with a completely different culture, it's a lot of balancing because I want to be a part of my environment. I want to, ha to have comfort with other people. I want other people to be comfortable with me. But I am who I am. I was raised differently and... I was created to be different and sometimes you have to assimilate and then it changes you and it makes you something that you're not and as much as I want to be accepted and as much as I want to be respected I want to be me more than that and that means not being allowed to be in certain spaces which sucks but the truth is I am who I am I am black, I am feminine, I am Caribbean, I am quiet, I am noisy, I am smart, I am silly, I am cool as, I am naive, I'm really intelligent. Like it's, I can be all those things and be great and need help and give help. But that's who I am and I should be allowed to have that space to express that the most important thing to me in my lifetime i think it's freedom and true peace happiness comes and goes you have struggles in life that kind of take away your joy so you have very joyous moments and then painful moments but i think through it all i would like to be free and i would like to have peace so that's what i want my life to look like just freedom and peace because that's what we're here for. We're here to have a human experience as spiritual beings and just explore and not be constricted to things. I don't like being constricted. I don't like having to follow a very rigid set of you need to be like this. No, I'm going to be something else and I'm going to be something great. Even societies roles for young women or women in general i do not subscribe to some degree growing up there's this especially as a caribbean you it's, it's it's heavy in the black community it's heavy in the caribbean community girls are groomed to be wives they're groomed they start at a certain age to start taking care of men to start taking care of the home, to cook, to clean, to be submissive, to do all of these feminine things. And when you're a certain age, you're expected to have that be your currency to get yourself into a relationship or a marriage and have that man take care of you financially while you take care of the home, while you take care of his children. and. That is a beautiful thing. However, I don't completely subscribe to that. There are elements of it that I love and that I would like for my life. And there's a lot of elements that I don't. 
it's undecided if I want to be married. It's undecided if I want to have children. I grew up wanting to be married and wanting to have children because that's what was taught to me. And it seemed beautiful. It still seems beautiful. And it's something that I'm pretty sure that I will come to love and come to cherish. But the pressure that is put on us to be the perfect young woman that to become the perfect wife to become a mother it's just too much for me at this point and i don't think there should be a pressure for me to be doing wife things and to be doing motherly things so that i can be wanted or that i can be valuable that to me does not make any sense and it's important for a person an adult to know how to take care of themselves to know how to take care of a home to know how to be independent to know how to just carry themselves in the world with some confidence of knowing what they're doing and what they're about and it's like that's amazing and everything but my value does not lie in how good of a wife i'm going to be my value doesn't lie in how good i cook and how good i clean and how good i let a man tell me what to do with my life that's not my path it isn't my path card you know maybe one day i'll change my mind and i'll grow into that thinking but the pressure that is being put on me i resent it and it needs to stop and i don't really have the words to express myself in those situations so i just be quiet and i just listen but maybe i don't want to be married maybe i don't want to have children maybe i don't want to be a stay-at-home mom maybe i don't want all of these things that people are putting on to me and how are you going to find a man how are you going to keep a man maybe that's not what's important to me and if my only contribution is how domestic i can be then that's not the kind of relationship I want anyways. So these are things that just irritate me <laughs> and I just think differently and I don't have the space to have those thoughts and to have those feelings. And it's like the person that is meant for me will not have those restrictions on me or will not make me feel restricted in those ways. And I would like for the person that comes into my life to be to motivate me to, to that i find it within myself that i want to do those things for them and not that i feel like i have to in order to attain them and to keep them so that's just how i feel about that i want to be who i am wherever i am at all times these are just my unpopular opinions about not being accepted and for other people it may look differently with other or how you want to show up in the world and how you're allowed to show up in the world it's just confusing i'm exploring different things i'm exploring my natural hair i'm ex i'm exploring you know different looks with my hair that aren't natural um i'm exploring different fashion looks i'm exploring just how I want to show up in the world, how I want to talk, how I want to dress, how I, if I want to be a little more sexy, if I want to be a little more modest, if I want to do the most, if I just want to express myself differently than I have previously expressed myself, that shouldn't be shut down. That shouldn't be criticized. It's like, let me figure out who I am, what I want to look like, what I want to be like in this world. And even if you hate it, give me the space to do that. And even with making videos, it's kind of hard for me to always completely express everything that I feel because I feel like my channel is a bit censored. Um, and the idea that I, uh, I do have a, f a public face and professional career and I want to be respectful to people and not share things that make other people uncomfortable but I also want to be myself and then there's this thing just like don't don't post too many personal things and it's like I'm a human being it doesn't matter from the president I'm a human being and I'm allowed to have thoughts and feelings even if they are considered whatever you want to consider them I'm, I'm allowed to express myself the that's another thing too it's like why do you post that why do you post so much why do you post 
things that are so personal because that's my experience and I am a human being and I have thoughts and I have feelings and I want to share them. I want to share what I think is beautiful. I want to share what I think is cute. I want to share the little things, the big things. And as long as I'm being safe, as long as I'm not offending anyone, I can do that. And I can still be good at my job and I can still be a good person and I can still do everything else. I don't have to stick in a box and just do that. I can have faucets to myself. And if you don't like that, then look away. Because I'm going to do it anyway. I'm an open book. There's nothing as sharing too much for me. It's like somebody else out there feels the same way or wants to hear what I think and this is my space to do that that is all about my unpopular opinions tell me how you feel about what i said tell me your struggles how do you want to show up in the world are you allowed to show up that way are there things that people criticize you for that you feel very strongly about let's talk about it thank you for watching if you like the video please give it a thumbs up leave a comment below share with your friends and most importantly, subscribe! Hit the subscribe button if you are not subscribed and hit the post notification bell to that. It lets you know when I post a new video. Bye-bye! Okay,